Alabama, the total number of COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began is now over 800,000. And now that we're in the beginning of flu season, well, experts are now on high alert for that too. WDHN's Robert Smith talked to a doctor with the Alabama Department of Public Health who's concerned about the number of COVID cases currently and what people need to be aware of this year about the flu more than they were last year at this time. Robert? Yeah, good evening, Amanda. One of the Wiregrass counties has a higher positivity rate for COVID than the state average, and the flu rate is on the rise as well. I talked to Dr. Landers about it, and she says a lot of this is because people left, left their guards down just a little too early. When it comes to COVID-19, the state of Alabama is not out of the woods, as there are 850,000 cases and 16,000 deaths. Different areas of the state have uh, experienced uh, different waves and, and difficulties. Uh, certainly our southeast Alabama section of the state had uh, quite a bit of difficulty during the Delta uh, surge that we most recently have had. While some parts of the state may be seeing fewer cases than months ago, or even at this time last year, more counties are seeing a high number of transmission rates for the disease. Statewide, the positivity rate is about 5%. And while most of the Wiregrass counties are in that ballpark, Geneva County is 5% higher than the state average, which is concerning due to the county being small. We have protective measures against COVID-19. Some of those are the common sense measures that we've taken all along. And that is uh, universal masking, especially in the school system. Certainly if you're uh, indoors, universal masking is very, very important. You know, if you're out of doors, I tell people I'm not really as concerned about it as long as, as you're keeping some distance. Dr. Lander says masking could drop that transmission rate significantly and of course getting all three doses of the vaccine, especially with the different variants. Although COVID-19 is on the forefront, it's also flu season. She says the rate for influenza is over 3%, which is higher than 2020 because now there is no mask mandate. So let's don't forget to take our flu shots this year and be aware that it is not too late. We are seeing some influenza activity, but it is not too late to vaccinate against influenza. Now, with Christmas being two weeks away and a time to enjoy family, she encourages you to get all of your vaccines. Mask up if you're going out of state and being around people you don't know. And of course, just monitor your own health. Back to you. Good advice. Thank you, Robert. We know.